New Yorkers love to complain about the subway, but what if I told you there's some stations you should visit for fun? Today we'll be sharing New York's best subway stations and why you should check them out. We'll be joined by a native New Yorker to get his take as well. Let's go. Action Kid, the last video we shot together, we showed the worst subway stations in New York. I think this one's gonna be a lot more fun for us, right? New Yorkers love to give the subway a bad rap, but these are some places that you should visit and they're very awesome. Even after all this time coming here, this place still impresses me so much. They actually opened this up during special events and you can see a perfect view of the One World Trade Center. This is pretty unique for New York City, having a mall built directly around all the subways. I like it, and it's actually really clean too. I know, I mean, it really reminds me of Asia. When I went to Taiwan, they had all these underground shopping malls connected to the subway station. There's 12 different lines here, plus the PATH train. It's one of the most central hubs in all of Manhattan. It's futuristic. Do it doesn't feel like New York City, it feels more like Tokyo. I'm not feeling grimy about staying uh, in a subway station all day like last time. Yeah. I needed two showers after that video. I don't think I've actually ever really looked up crossing through here. It kind of feels like Epcot Center a little bit. And you said $1.3 billion to make this, this Fulton Center. Yes, $1.3 billion. It's an incredible sum of money. I've heard a lot of New Yorkers say it was a waste of money, but. Yeah, and you got a Shake Shack here, one of many now. One of many, yeah. What do you like better, Shake Shack or In N Out Burger? I know you were just um, in LA. I say Shake Shack. I'm, I'm voting for Shake Shack too. Mm -hmm. Ben? Ben? Let's get, let's, get, let's get Ben. Shake Shack. East Coast. 1349 at Krispy Kreme. I thought for a second it was $13 for a donut. And then I realized, like, well, New York's not that expensive no. yet. <laughs> Every time with you, I need like three swipes. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It'd be, funny, it'd be funny if you got cuffed right there. <laughs> now, have you ever been curious what this was if you jumped out at World Trade? It's called Chorus. This is a $1 million art piece, and it has different parts of the UN's Declaration of Human Rights and the US Declaration of Independence all embossed on the wall. It feels like you're at some kind of a monument in Washington, DC. I always found this really fascinating. <laughs> subway stop, the artwork just hits you right as you step off. You have this big mural. It was designed in 2000 with a lot of different types of animals and species, some of which are extinct, such as all the dinosaurs. I remember this from elementary school, the oh, uh, stegosaurus. stegosaurus. I swore I saw, I saw a dodo here. Where's Tal, the traveling clat? They show extinct species here, species that still exist, and if it has a little question mark, as of 2000, it meant that this species was in danger. It's like a little Easter egg on these murals. You know, the sad thing is, I'm usually in such a rush at these stations that I never actually look around and enjoy the artwork. This is amazing here. I feel the same way whenever I'm rushing to get a train that I don't really take the time to go and look at all this artwork. Uh oh. Wow, this is 3D. The great white shark, definitely not extinct. They also have fossils as part of this mural. It's not just species. It's a nice mix. And it also inspires you to visit the National History Museum, which <laughs> a lot of people should do when they visit New York. You're right, what better advertisement than yeah. this? What is this guy's voice? He sounds like a DJ. Watch all of these videos. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, we're doing one today about the best subways. One, two, three. Now, this is one of New York City's newest stations, opened 2017, right? Yeah, January 1st, 2017. There were three new subway stations on the 2nd Avenue subway 72nd, 86, and 96. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the real action kid. That doesn't look like me, I need a cape. <laughs> you do need a cape. It's supposed to depict strangers in New York City waiting for the subway. If you need a signal that New York City is coming back, look around you. Look around you at rush hour now. I really like the artwork in here because it just depicts average people. Yeah, look, average people. <laughs> 
Because you would see someone like this on the subway. You see all sorts of people on the subway. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen somebody doing on the subway that's not illegal or disgusting? Someone brought on an entire like steel beam, which is like, I don't know, two subway cars with long. I one time saw a magician on the subway and he was levitating cards. That's probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen. The city has been working on the Second Avenue subway for like decades now. And finally, there's three new stations. Look how big this Sicilian slice is. It speaks for itself. All right, All right let's try it, let's go. I love the cheese. I love the dough, it's very puffy. It's one of their signatures, the dough is amazing here. Hudson Yards, we are not here to show you artwork. We're just here to show you the station, right? Everything's very symmetrical. It's very modern, it's wide, spacious. Yeah. New York Comic Con, that explains a lot. I feel like there's never anybody actually in this station. It's usually quiet. Do you think this is the steepest escalator in New York City? Oh, this is it, man. Look at it. This thing's crazy to look at. If you got vertigo, this could possibly scare you. You're looking up into like heaven. Seriously, I'm not holding the guardrail, but I feel like any kind of like slight movement, I'll probably fall all the way down. Action Kid insists this is New York's best elevator ride. I have no idea what's about to happen, but he said it's a surprise. So most elevators in New York, and the world for that matter, go up and down. This one goes diagonal. Imagine getting stuck here instead of the fire barn going in the elevator shaft and going down. They probably have to like fall to your rope. Here, climb. Oh wait, there's steps here. There are steps. Yeah. So that, this elevator makes sense. Why don't they make more elevators like this? All right. Hey. All right, Times Square we go. Some would call this the worst subway station in New York. It has a lot of benefits that many people probably don't think about. Basically, you can connect to like 16 different subway lines here. As far as accessibility is concerned, this is by far the best station in the city. Oh yeah. It's also the most crowded. They have commissions by five different artists, which is the most in all of New York. Here, it's all people celebrating New Year's. It's also the station you're most likely to be handed a flyer or given some kind of religious pamphlet. Back in the day, you could have walked through that door, went right to the lobby and had a drink at the bar, and come back down and taken your train. Well, this passageway opened last month in September, and it provides a connection to the Bryant Park Station and the Times Square Station. Beautiful art. It kind of looks like a Lucha Libre in Mexico. You can actually walk between two different stations here, the 7 train at Bryant Park to the 7 train at Times Square without even paying. And he said it's the only place in New York City where that's even possible. A lot of people think of Times Square and the ACE line, like the older part of the station, but this connector here, the corridor, there's actually some cool things going on in this station that have even surprised me today. One, two, minutes. I was a little off. Make sure to subscribe to Action Kid. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite subway station in New York City. I'm curious. Thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time.